Uh, hey everyone, uh, I just implemented a uh, game state system, so I just wanted to show it off in a video. Uh, so here I am. Um, the main reason why I wanted to get the state system up and running is because previously I would just throw the player into the world and have it generate around them, and that allowed for the possibility of the player falling through the world because they got to some chunk that wasn't loaded. Um, so with this state system, I can have a load state to generate some initial terrain before the player even starts. Um, I also have a very quick and dirty way right now of finding a suitable start location for the player. Uh, it basically just assures that they're standing on a grass block that has at least two empty spaces above it. Um, because I figured that would be fine um, instead of just dropping them somewhere. Um, so let me just start this up. Uh, as you can see, this is a lo loading state. Uh, it's going pretty fast, but that's because I'm in release build. And um, I'm running this on my laptop, which has... A uh, third gen i7 mobile and an NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how fast this will run on other systems. Um, and it doesn't usually lag like this. Uh, I think this is because I'm recording. Um, so yeah. Uh, I, right now I have it set up uh, to generate with completely random seeds every time uh, just so that I can check the uh, spawn location thing checker I guess uh, so let's just start it up again see if that works um, I mean I'm obviously gonna change this around to make it look prettier and have like a progress bar instead uh, and then have some text saying like what I'm doing um, and I think, oops, I gotta show, so yeah, this is, it's generally around the start location, um, I think, that it starts looking for position, um, and I think it should, at least the way everything's set up right now, it should find some kind of start location, because I check... Um, surrounding whatever, um, so negative 3 to positive 3, so that's like 7 cubes, so like 343, maybe, something like that. So it, sh it should find a starting place to not, or to spawn, that won't screw something up. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you've been following this project, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, and as always, the full source code is available on GitHub. See ya.